Okay. Yeah, so my name is Frank Evers, and I'm the uh, CEO of Institute, and we are uh, an artist management company that manages uh, 18 photographers and filmmakers, or photographer filmmakers, and the basic idea is to um, provide essentially a 360 degree support structure for the artist. Um, and what that really ultimately means is that we're involved in all of the things that they're doing from uh, conception to the book to the art exhibition to the, the documentary film that they're trying to fund uh, to the magazine jobs that they're doing or the resale to those jobs to the, the lectures and to the, you know, the general management of, of and support of them. Um, and in many cases in areas that they don't actually have a lot of expertise in. So for example, um, finding art galleries or negotiating a book contract or um, figuring out a way to raise funds for documentary film. And we have, you know, and, and in those areas, uh, people like Zed Nelson and Lauren Greenfield, even Guillaume Herbeau, mm -hmm. they're all shooting film. Um, so they're, the, our approach is they're visual artists. And as visual artists, they, they really, when you look at them in that way, the options are as, as endless as their capabilities. And so we're really just trying to support that. I, that's fantastic. And, and being at Perpignan, what's, what's your role here? Well, Perpignan, you know, obviously there's two parts to Perpignan. One, you know, there's the emotional part, which is um, the, uh, the love of the kind of photography that Perpignan celebrates in photojournalism, and, you know, John, supporting Jean-Francois, who I think has done a tremendous amount for photography. And, you know, here we are 22 years later, uh, you know, hats off to him. Anyone can go that long. Um, and then the other part is uh, the practical side, which is the market. Um, we have our clients here in the editorial space. We're starting a new company, and uh, Matt Schoenfeld, who's my partner uh, in, in running uh, the business, he uh, and I have decided to come here to see a lot of our clients, uh, people who we've been working with for eight months and people who we hope to work with going forward. But it's a small part of what we do. Paris Photo is really the bookend. Right. So between Perpignan and Paris Photo, and you know, we were also at New York Photo Festival, yeah. that really begins to uh, encapsulate the places where we show up and meet face to face with our partners. Okay. Um, really the last part would probably be Sundown. So New York, Paris Photo, Perpignan, and Sundown. That institute. Yeah. Okay, that's fantastic. And just one more thing is, I mean, it seems like you're embracing where documentary photography and photography is going. You know, it's not as simple as it used to be as selling pictures to magazines, right. full stop. Right. Has Perpignan changed that much in the years that you've been coming here? Um, yeah, I mean, I think, I think that the Perpignan's, uh, its mandate is very similar, but it's been a place where, you know, photographers, I mean, definitely notice that photographers are coming together and they're sharing ideas. And I mean, it, it's always been a place where people kind of come finally come back from whatever they're doing and they're like, what are you doing? What are you? And then they, they share their struggles, they share their solutions, their ideas, they, they bitch and moan and they, you know, and I think, so I think that Perpignan is a place where um, a group of, of, of similarly minded, uh, talented people come together and figure out how the hell they're going to come back here the following year. Um, I'd like to see more education here at Perpignan, a little bit more sort of, um, you know, helping, the, especially the younger folks who are coming in and they have no clue a little bit more of that, um, but for the most part, I think Perpignan is serving a very good role, and especially with new technologies. You see it everywhere. You got everyone with their iPads, and you know, people. Uh, I talked to someone yesterday, a new company, Tina Aaron's and Emphasis. You know, where they're coming up with a crowd uh, crowdfunding um, strategy. So it's it's very cutting edge, but it's also it's what it's always been. Yeah.